So Switch emulation on the Steam Deck and Steam Deck OLED is insane, and especially more so if you put SteamOS onto a Windows handheld like the ROG Ally X using Bazact. Here are the 8 simple steps to set up the Ryujinx Switch emulator, and also the 7 easy steps to set up Yuzu as well for SteamOS, so we can have the best of both worlds. Plus I'll share why Switch emulation is so much better on SteamOS than on Windows, and also whether I prefer Ryujinx or Yuzu and the two main reasons why. For step 1 let's start by downloading the awesome Switch emulator Ryujinx. If you've dual booted like me and in Windows then just press restart, then from game mode let's switch to the Linux desktop. There are two ways for us to get Ryujinx, the first is to open the discovery store and search for Ryujinx, but I highly recommend doing it the second way, which is to install one of the most incredible apps I've ever used in Emudeck, as Ryujinx already comes fully configured and installed with this, and I've done a super easy setup guide for this, link in description. Next for step 2 let's launch Ryujinx, so let's press the menu button, go to all applications and scroll all the way down to Ryujinx and launch it. Now when we first launch Ryujinx it comes up with this error message saying that the keys aren't found and we'll fix this in just a moment. For step 3 we now need to add our Switch games. Let's open up where Emudeck installed a folder called emulation which for me was in the default place of home. Click on the emulation folder, head into ROMs. Obviously this is where all of the Emudeck system ROMs are stored, so let's head down to the Switch folder. And now it's just a case of placing our Switch games we own in here. There are many guides online of how we can dump them in either NSP or XCI formats, and of course you may come across some games online, but let's make sure we support our awesome developers in any case. For step 4 let's now install our keys and firmware to fix this keys not found error message and to also turn our BIOS files checker switch section in Emidec from red to green as currently yet we can't play any games. We can get this from dumping it from our switch, again there are guides online to help us to do this and you may be able to find them online too. And we should have two files, one called prod.keys which for me is tiny at 12.3 kilobytes and one called title.keys which is even smaller at just 816 bytes and at the time of recording the version is 8.1.0. A lot of us freak out at this bit but it really is super simple. In Ryojinx click file, then open Ryojinx folder, then system. I'm going to minimize my window and just drag our prod.keys file which in my case is on the desktop into this system folder and we actually do not need our title.keys file at all for Ryojinx. Let's close Ryojinx to reset it, and when we open it back up, that error message will no longer appear, yes! Let's now install the firmware which isn't required for most games, but it is for some, like Mario Kart 8, so it definitely is worth doing. And for this we head into tools, then install firmware, then install a firmware from XCI or zip. Simply locate one of our Switch games that is in an XCI format, and we get this message saying install firmware, so let's click yes, then ok. Our firmware is now installed, so when we go back into the BIOS checker in Emudeck, the switch section is now green, yes! For step 5 let's now add our switch games to Steam OS using Steam ROM Manager. So let's open up Emudeck, then Steam ROM Manager, for this Steam input message click yes, click add games, then pass, click save to Steam, and we can exit out. And remember that we have to do this every time we install a new Switch game, otherwise they won't appear within SteamOS. For step 6, let's install any game updates, DLC or mods. To do this, let's right click on the game we want it for, select manage title updates for any updates, or manage DLC for the DLC, or manage mods for, <laughs> yep you guessed it, any mods. I'm installing an update so I'll select this, then press add, simply locate our file, click open, click save, and we can now see it applied to the game, in this case 1.0.1. .1. We're all finished here in the Linux desktop, so here in Steam OS, for step 7 let's install the first of 4 amazing decky loader plugins that will greatly enhance our Switch games, by first customising the UI theme if we haven't already. Let's head to the decky loader plugin, install this if you haven't already using my guide, link in description, tap on the marketplace icon, Scroll to the amazing CSS loader, install this, then open CSS loader, click on the download button, and select the UI theme you like the most. My favourite is Arts here, so I'm going to select this, then install it, and within CSS loader, when we toggle Art Hero to on, our game library now looks absolutely incredible. 
Decky Loader plugin 2 is called Bluetooth. This will make connecting to our AirPods or any Bluetooth earphones or headphones much easier within games. Decky Loader plugin 3 is for LCD screens like the OG Steam Deck or for Windows devices like the RG Ally X like I'm using right here. It's called Vibrant Deck. I turn this on all the way up to max which is 200 and it basically makes our LCD screen feel like an OLED. This is insane. And the fourth essential Decky Loader plugin is to customize game artwork and it's called Steam Grid DB. So when we press the start button on a game, then go down to change artwork, we can change the vertical artwork in the capsule section, the horizontal artwork in the wide capsule area, and the huge backdrop in the hero section. And I absolutely love this plugin so much to get our games looking exactly how we want to. And finally for step eight is to launch our Switch games. And there are two ways to do this. The first is if we're just dipping in and out of our Switch games, then to use the front end of Emidec called Emulation Station. I've only just installed this along with the Steam OS using Bazite on my ROG Ally X. So we can go to UI settings, then theme downloader. My favorite is Art Flicks. I'm gonna to go to theme and select Art Flicks. Head into the switch area, press start, then scraper, select the switch, press start. And this is how we can get our game artwork in emulation station and dip in and out of our switch games here. However, if there's certain Switch games we play a lot, we can go to the non-Steam section in our game library, select it, and our most played Switch games can take up valuable real estate in our main game library. So with us fully set up with Ryojinx, let's now set up the incredible Yuzu Switch emulator. So for step one on the Linux desktop, let's open up our favorite web browser, which in my case is Brave, which by the way is especially awesome for getting stuff for emulation and download Yuzu. Unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly where, but you guys are super smart and I'm sure you'll figure it out. But just make sure it's the Linux version so the file should have .app image at the end. Next for step two, let's install Yuzu by making our window bigger. Click on the split on the top right. Click on the right and select the home location. Drag the window a little closer and we simply drag our Yuzu app image file into the applications folder. An important thing here to avoid any potential issues here is to rename it simply to Yuzu instead of the random name we downloaded it as. With step three, let's launch Yuzu by going into the applications folder and simply clicking on the Yuzu file. We get this encryption keys are missing pop-up message that again we'll fix in just a moment, so just press OK. For step four, let's add our keys. Again, don't get freaked out by this. And just like with Ryojinx, I have in my downloads folder our prod.keys and title.keys files. In Yuzu, go to file, then open Yuzu folder, and let's open up the keys folder, which will of course be empty. Let's press the split button so that our Yuzu keys folder is on the left and on the right, open the folder where our keys files are, which in my case is the downloads folder. Simply drag and move our prod.keys in like we did for Ryojinx. And I'm also gonna put in the title.keys file too, this time just to be on the safe side. Let's close Yuzu. And now when we launch Yuzu from now on, that keys error message is no more, yes. Finally, let's install the firmware for Yuzu. Now, just like with Ryojinx, most games don't need firmware, but some do, so it is good to have. And remember in Ryojinx, when we installed it just by opening the game XCI file, well, it's a bit different for Yuzu. We can't install firmware from an XCI file for Yuzu. Again, we can dump these from our Switch or a simple Google search here may help. And at the time of recording, it is version 18.1.0, just like the keys. So let's head into Yuzu, go to file, then open Yuzu folder and this area is pretty important here in Yuzu. Remember here is where we put our keys, but for our firmware, let's head to NAND, then system, then contents, then registered. And this empty folder is where we will place our files. So to do this, let's press split. Click on the right hand side and set the location to where our firmware is, which in my case is downloads. Open up our folder and there are a ton of little files here. So copy all of them into the registered folder on the left. Thankfully, all this keys and firmware setup was only needed to do just one time. So let's close Yuzu and then reopen and we're all good, yes. For step five, let's now add our Switch games to Yuzu. And this is just like Ryojinx, so we place our NSP or XCI Switch ROM files into where our emulation folder is. 
then ROMs, then Switch. In Yuzu, double click in the main area and just locate where we store our Switch games. So point this to our emulation folder, then ROMs, scroll down to Switch, then click Choose. And then all of our Switch games will then populate within the main Yuzu window. Step six is adding any game updates, DLC and mods. And it's a bit different to Ryu Jinx. So in Yuzu, we select the game we want to add to, then click File, then install files to NAND. So let's put our file is, which in my case is in downloads and it's an update file. Just a quick note, and I highly recommend installing updates first and then add any DLC after. So here we've just selected it, then press open. This message asks us to confirm. Then we can just press install and it should then appear right here next to the game if our updates or DLC has been applied and is active. So while updates and DLC is in the install files to NAND section, for mods we right click on the game so let's open mod data location and just place any mod files in here. For step seven is Steam ROM Manager. And there is a crucial one off step in the setup process that we need to do, which is open Steam ROM Manager, scroll all the way down and Yuzu is off by default. So let's click this to toggle it to on. Then just like Rare Jinx, whenever we add a new Switch game, we go to add game, then pass, save to Steam and close out. For step eight, let's configure Yuzu. Let's click emulation at the top, then configure. We really don't need to change anything here apart from three things. The first in general, I like to change this confirm before stopping emulation from always ask to never ask. Second in system, let's change the device name from Yuzu to what we want to be called as this name appears within games. And finally is in the control section. We can add up to eight controllers here if we want to, but we absolutely must change the input device to Steam Virtual Gamepad 0. Otherwise controls will not work in Steam OS. So we're all completely done here in desktop mode. So let's exit out and head into Steam OS for our final step. So yes, for the final step nine is launching Switch games from the Yuzu emulator. And there's two important aspects here. The first is if we now load up Emulation Station, which remember is best for dipping in and out of games and in the Switch section. If we press Start, then Other Settings, then Alternative Emulators, go down to Switch. We can select Yuzu if we want to use Yuzu to load our Switch games within Emulation Station. And the second aspect is for our most played Switch games. Scroll all the way across our library, head into Collections, and we now have a Ryujink section, which we had before, but now we have a Yuzu section. So we can pick here which emulator to use. And in the non-Steam section games, the ones that will launch with the Ryujinx emulator have that in brackets after the game name. And games that will launch with Yuzu does not have Ryujinx in brackets. And this is how we can tell the difference. The Switch emulation is so much better on SteamOS than on Windows because shaders load on Steam before the game starts which is why it's such a smooth experience. Whereas on Windows, games load during actual gameplay. This results in, in a pretty choppy and uneven experience. Plus that Vibrant Deck Decky Loader plugin is an absolute game changer that we cannot get on Windows. And I much prefer Yuzu for two reasons. One is that games load much quicker than using Rare Jinx. And reason two is that just the overall experience for the majority of games is far superior, including much better rumble feedback like at the start of a race in Mario Kart. Although Rare Jinx is better than Yuzu for some games like Luigi's Mansion 3. Congratulations, you are now fully set up with both Rare Jinx and also Yuzu to play all of our Switch games with. And if this helped you to do this and hit like and also drop a comment on any tips or thoughts you have, which will help spread the video out to many more in our awesome handheld gaming community. Also subscribe to stay fully up to date with all of these tutorials and content. Plus it gives the channel a massive boost too. Thanks so much. And as a little extra bonus watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I'll miss you until we meet again. I want to dedicate this video to my good friend Matt who passed away suddenly the other week when he was way too young. Give someone a call today and let them know how much you appreciate them because life is so fragile. And every breath we have is a gift.